Okay, so once again, good day everyone. So I'm back. So let's continue for our discussion. So our topic for this session is all about the three dogmatic principle in polygraph test and more topics pa. Then uh, let's talk about first the three dogmatic principle in polygraph test. Okay, so first is the me mechanical leg basic premise or mechanical leg like basic premise. The polygraph is capable of making graphic record containing reliable information regarding physiological responses of the subject. So, in this principle, in polygraph test class, first, it remind just, it is just a reminder that the polygraph machine, from the result, polygraph machine is a, a machine no? or a mechanical uh, operated machine no? so it is uh, it is just a machine na mag record sa mga physiological responses of the subject okay so that is the uh, one of the principle na that's a reminder that a polygraph is just a machine na nag record sa mga physiological responses dili kay when we say uh, polygraph machine it's a lie detector, not. No? It is not a lie detector. Dilit ni Japu ay ma detect ang lie or a truth. Dilit ni Japu detect. On sa ma detect ang physiological responses. Klaro? Okay. So ang ija lang ma detect is physiological responses. Di kay paglong polygraph machine may bawat ay jaon may bawat kita. Oi kana na machine may bawat na bukita ko nangilad or wala. So this in this mechanical mechanical like basic tag remind na ang ang polygraph machine is just a machine na nagrecord ng physiological responses ng sa katawo dili kung ang lie or ang deception or ang truthful sa isa katawo dili na ni ja record ang ija ra record is physiological responses ang makina lang siya na nagrecord ang physiological responses sa isa katawo or isa ka subject Okay, next, physiological leg basic premise. So, here in the physiological leg basic premise, the physiological responses that may be recorded are those that automatically occur only following the same stimulation of a specific nervous component system. There is a specified part in this principle, so, or uh, one of the dogmatic principle sa polygraph test is is like syempre based on physiological uman what what physiological responses first is the blood pressure or circulation and also the pulse beat or the pulse rate ikadua new uh, based on your respiration breathing or respiration ikatulo based on your skin resistance by the use of galvanogram or the GSR, right? So, based on this premise na nag-remind na nakabase siya sa imong responses, physiological responses na may occur based on your, based on the given stimuli. No? Ang mo dyan na ma-produce, syempre yung man dyan, based sa imong pag-story, based sa imong nag-gather, na based sa imong stimulus, no? then naka, 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 na, na record na imo responses basically nga man di man na kono nimo though di mo time na pwede siya mapugnan but little na na, na part no na mas dako ang responses na di yun, or, that is called stimuli physiological response no only given or only response sa imong uh uh physic or sa imong imong physic no based sa imong physic or the imong mga physiological responses so this this is uh automatically occur no syempre ang, ang machine amoy mag-record sa imong mga physiological responses syempre there is a physiological leg base premise gipa kita na na dyan nga dyan, automatically mo occur ang imong mga physiological responses based on the questioning no based on that certain question na yas sa imo or based sa mga stimulus na ma then dyan imo da dyan ma ma respond sa ila based sa imong mga physiological responses automatically no? automatically occur with the following stimulation and of your specific nervous component system diba? Timan, ano na ito lamang dyan based sa mga uh, based sa mga physiological responses the blood pressure and the pulse rate 
the breathing, respiration, or the breathing, and the skin resistance. Okay? So, that's it. Next, psychological like basic premise. It states that a specific nervous system component whose stimulation can thus be diagnosed or so is stimulated by the involuntary and emotional processes of the individual. Involuntary and emotional processes? Why? Manjay, may mga involuntary. Who is continuous latent concealment of deception, especially that individual has something at stake and the prevailing circumstances lead him to believe that exposure to deception is quite possible and undesirable. Because of that, last, umanjay, may kunoy, mga involuntary emotional process. Why? Because the first yet is the fear. Because of fear, kahadlok. Amo daw na, jay ato magawas na mga physiological responses because based ato ng emotion na ato paghadlok anxiety no mahadlok kita na mahibawan na nangilad ta mahibawan kung unsay atong gibuhat na wrong based on uh, because of the fear amo daw na maka-generate nan involuntary emotional processes based on our emotion amo daw na makagawas kita ng mga physiological responses. No? Because of that, something slick and prevailing circumstances lead him to believe that exposure to deception, may bawaan ng hindi pagpangilat is quite possible and undesirable. Ang mga look siya, kasi may bawaan ko na eh, na ako'y nagpatay, maprisugit ko, or ano'y ako mga consequences, may tabo. No? Based on Jeremy Bentham, di ba? Okay? So, to seek pressure, para ma-avoid ang pain. Okay, so, para ma-avoid ang pain. So, diyan na, because of your emotion, diyan na, mahadlok ka, fear of having a pain or as such a punishment or um, what you call uh, uh, awkward moments, diyan na. So, that's why, mangilad, or based on that emotion, ang mga makakos ng mga physiological responses, uncontrolled, no? Okay, involuntary, based on that emotion. Okay? So, that's it. That is for the psychological like basic premise. Okay, next is the terms, uh, the terms to be remembered in polygraph uh, testing. Okay, first is admission or when we say admission, diba, of his, in, in your CDI subject, so a statement of facts, partial acknowledgement of guilt and usually given with some justification or exemplification in admitting. Most common in sir, umang gadoy kalahian. Unsa gyoy kalahian sa admission sa non-confession. So when we say admission, it is a statement of facts. Imo gi amin or imo ra istorya, imo ra state ang mga tinod nita boy example. Oh, ikaw ba gyud ang nagpatay? Sir, dili ako nagpatay, pero iban ra ako nila, iban ra ako sa pagkaitabo dito kay barkada kami na. Jay mga ano man Except, uh, yung mo gi-justify, no? Though, blong ko na-appeal ko, jay, ang tinuod siya, ang mo gudin din nahitabo. But still, dili gud ako mismo nagpatay. Ija ra state ang unsay tinuod nga nahitabo. Ija gi-justify, ija ka galingon. Okay? So, da, dyan, dyan mga, lang pa na, dyan mga exculp patahin rin na nahitabo. That is admission. Oh, exculp, one of the exculp patahin evidences. No, nina yung mo gi-justify na. Wala siya, uh, I mean, Dili gyud ako mismo ang nipatay, no? Dili ko na ako nipatay pero iban ako dito, John ako dito sa paghitabo. So that is admission. But when we say confession, a direct acknowledgement statement of guilt. Ikaw ba gyud ang nagpatay? Ako sir, ako ang nagpatay. Uman ikaw sa dako pat yon. <laughs> okay. So that is a confession. Giamin gyud di na si Ja gyud mismo. Si Ja ang gahimo. Direct acknowledgement of his guilt. Ikaw ba nang rape? Yes, sir. Ako gud ang nang rape. Uman, raipon pod ko? Raipon ko pod ka? Tiwas. That is confession. And admission, ijara lang mong i-state kung unsay tinuod na itabo. Ijara gi justify No? No. Though dila ako nagpatay, pero jawa na ako dito sa pangitabo. That is admission. Klaro? Okay. So, that is the terms to be remembered. Timan, ina. Mugawas na sa board exam. Number 25. Okay. Next. Interview. So when we say interview, it is a simple questioning of one who is willing and cooperative. So dahil sa dua gyapon ni sila, interview and interrogation. Kung si kalahi anapod na. So when we say interview, is it is just a simple questioning. 
Siyempre, imo dyan ihatag sa mga witnesses or sa mga tao na willing or cooperative. No? Mo-cooperate sila. That is a simple question. Eh. So, siyempre, why a force imo gigamit? But here in interrogation, you, it is a forceful questioning. Nagamit ko ng force, ng threat, no? or violence na imo gigamit eh, para maka-acquire ka dyan information. So, that is interrogation. Pero imo ang interrogation gamitin lang na sa mga reluctant or sa mga subject na hadlok mutugan kay base ba sa mutugan sila, maapil sila, madamay sila or else apil ba sila sa dito. No? Or mga uncooperative witnesses, no? Or hostile witnesses. No? Naapil ba sila dito? So imo dyan sila inter interrogate. Gamitan nimo ng forceful questioning or gamitan nimo ng force ani mo pagpangutan na sa ila. Okay, that is for interrogation. When you say si, uh, interview, simple questioning lang siya. Okay. But, an ito timanan is, dira, an interview lang, dia siya sa cooperative na witness. Pero sa interrogation, doon sa mga reluctant na mga tao or na witness or pwede niyo mapangutanan. So, kung reluctant sila, kahit it's either dyan ilag no? may baon niyo mga itago. So, you can use a inter interrogation yung gamit sila. Forceful questioning. Kung ano Iban mo git ka. Diyan na, diyan ay force, diyan ay violence na yung mag apply Or threat. Okay, that is for interrogation. Next. Emotion. So, emotion, it is an emotional response to a specific danger that appears to be beyond a person's defensive power. So, uh, when we say emotion, it is a response no, based on your uh, psychological process. Ano na, emotion is either nasakitan ka, nalipay ka then so it is the emotional is your emotional is your response based on your uh kwan sa imong psychological uh, aspects okay that appears beyond person defensive power that is your emotion okay next environment so when we say environment it is the sum or total of the dissimulation that a person acquired from the time he was conceived and his exposure to his surroundings it is your environment. No? The exposure of the surroundings. No, based sa di ana, no, sa environment, amo dyan nakakas sa imo, na mas natrigger ka, di na. So that is for the environment. Next is heredity. Or hereditary, or heredity. So, balik beta, the, the, the transmission of physical and mental traits from the parents, from your ascendants to their descendants. From the descendants to the descendants. Na mana or the offspring or oh, through the genes or by the use of or by their genetics or gen or or their, by their genes okay or the genetic influence that's what we called the heritage namana nimo okay that is heredity mga common terms na jaon gyapon diri siya lie detection so common na i hope na common na ni next is the personality so syempre when you say personality tibo na na jaon na diyan emotion or the sum of total dissimulation of person acquired from heredity environment and education tanan no be same person yes your personality kita we have our own personality like, like kita depende kun unsa ona to na pag apply unsa ona to paggamit so that is our or that is personality the sum or total based jaon na diyan heredity environment and so imo na na personality okay ang equals kumbaga uh, the total of your all of your emotion environment identity, or some of your behavior that is personality next is stimulus or any force or motion Timan ya? force or motion coming from the environment you can say environment then which reach the organism or orgasm has the tendency to arouse no example tungod sa daon pag uh, uh, joy gi, joy gi, joy gi, kuan say mo, or joy, joy, joy thing na gi, 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 bagbag say mo, or sa body na. So, that is a force, no, or motion na gikan sa environment, then na maka arouse say mo, it's either ma hurt ka o based on that. Example, tag istoryahan ka ng mga yaot, no, diana. Then, amra tulata na stimulate based say mo, yun stimulus, then, yun na dadi tendency na mo arouse say mo, or example. So I said, example na, init, init na tubig, oh, or init na baso, grabe ka init, oh, nasabod ni mo. That is force na, or motion, no? then imo na sabod mana. Then, joy dati, masakitan man ka, joy ni arouse sa imo, base sa imo feeling. No? Kaya nga man, because of that emotion, na pwede maka-stimulate sa imong senses. 
Oh, base ay mong senses. That is, amo dyan, stimulus. Na mak, mas, maka, mas maka pa, uh, stimulate sa imong senses. Base sa mga force or motion gikan sa environment, na mas maka pa, uh, generate sa imong senses. May ato senses. Hearing, eye, di ba? Sight, hearing, uh, smell, di ba? So, based on our uh, 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 major senses, na na stimulate sila so that is stimulus okay so any force na pwede maka pa stimulate sa tong senses so that is a e stimulus okay so that's it next fear okay so ato na na topic again so when we say fear it refers an emotional response to specific danger that appears to beyond a person defensive power so amo jo na muhanap si sa paagi tungod sa sa kadlok muhanap si sa paagi no mahadlok si ja na ma mahibaw-an ang an tinuod no Mahadlok si Jack ay tungo dyan sa aswang. Ano mo dyan? Muhanap si Jack pag yun saan ni Jack pag defend ang ijak ka o galing yun. Uh, because of fear. Okay, so that's it. Next. Response. The reaction to a stimulus. No? Siyempre, dyan yung stimulus. No? Uno may imo gibuat. Ang response is the action. Hmm. Ang reaction, ang sama na sir, is an action of mental attitude. O may imo buat an example. Dyan yung sunog. Jadi sunog, stimulus, no? Pwede, patay sunog. O may mo buhaton, wala, o may ako buhaton. That is reaction. Bisa imong mind. O may kaya ako buhaton, kaya nasunog man. Ay, magkuha ko tubig. That is response. O may imong action, nagkuha ko tubig, imogi, sabuag dito, or fire extinguisher, imogi, kuha sa sunog. Klaro? Okay. So that's it. So response is an action. And reaction, based sa imong mental attitude. Kung saan yung pag-una, una yung mga reaksyon, una yung ako ang ibuhatan nyo. Ya pa na yung mga ibuhat, sa imo pa na mental attitude. Ang response, in imo na ibuhat. Okay? Based on your uh, uh, action. Okay, so that's it. And, again, nagparimind na po, basta criminology, hitsuraan yun na. Okay, so hamok pa yata nabili na topic class, just sit back and enjoy lang, no? Wait lang, so, na uh, diyan pa yata mga upload ng mga video so uh, just click the subscribe button kay para updated mo always sa atong mga uh, discussion okay so for mga uh, bisaya diyan no so para mas dali pa nato masabtan ang mga topic about criminology so i'm your queen maestro so thank you goodbye and god bless bye thank you